Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Seth. There was a video here today. There's a brand new video of the 2022 best free fonts for designers where I basically just take some really cool free fonts that have come out in the recent year or at least somewhat recently. Or even these, some of these are like pretty freaking new. But anyway, I take them and I give you guys a cool download links in the description down below. And if you guys want to download all the fonts, by the way, there's like a little one bundle link that says like download all fonts. You can just click on that and just download all of them if you guys do and like all of them. But yeah, if you guys sound sick, I went to New York, I traveled, I just didn't dress appropriately. So don't mind the voice too much. But that's all I got pretty much for you guys. So if you guys are new to the channel, please sure to subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, for the record, 2020, 2022 is going to be a year. I'm going to be trying a lot of fun, different stuff. Like, I do hope you guys really end up enjoying it because I think it's going to be pretty fun. So with that being said, enjoy the video, enjoy the fonts, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Later. All right, homie. So for the first font in this episode, we have Print Vetica. Obviously, this is a play on the OG Helvetica font, which probably like wildly religiously used in every part of design ever and all the time. However, it does include this really cool fun print plaster idea behind it. For designers in the world of creating posters, labels, and even apparel, this font holds an awesome display stance that I'm sure will grab some attention. It fits in the classic black and white themes as like Helvetica would, but also you can take it and stretch it with like urban feels with colors and other textures. It's an easy pick of my opinion because I think this year we need to do better. Uh, sans serif fonts aren't the only way and I'm just trying to look out for you. <laughs> Up next is Bold and Display. It is a free for personal use only font. However, it's extraordinarily awesome for bold display headings. But for me, thumbnails. Thumbnails is probably where this font will actually end up landing for me. It holds a fun cartoonish idea while also still being bold and neutral. I'm not sure how owners of fonts feel when I like take their work that probably took months and years and then just go thumbnails. However, pick this one up if you guys are feeling it because I'm about to probably abuse the heck out of this one. So if you have, you know, if you want to put in some time and like get ahead of me, there you go. Just, just saying. Next, we have Dash. I included this awesome urban abstract feeling font for my lovers of apparel or streetwear. That's where the needs and the applications of this font actually landed on my brain when I first saw it. Apparently, it's an early version. However, it is free for commercial and personal use. So I would say if you guys are loving it, be sure to take advantage now because I can see this making some really cool logos and definitely just using it as like really cool like type texturing. I am definitely going to be using this font in the near future. I would say go for it. The font is screaming a style that is worth exploring. Next up is Grolped. I'm not sure about the name or if I'm actually saying it right, just I don't know. Anyway, this right here is a really fun twist and attempt of getting away from the classic sans serifs. Honestly, it does hold the same vibe. However, with this really cool deep ink traps and even like a sense of incomplete letters, this font right here has a really cool style written all over it. Anywhere from a streetwear approach to a luxury brand logo, Helvetica style collectors, you know, I, I see you. This font is honestly sexy. If it's not to you though, did I mention that it's free for personal and commercial use? I mean, yeah, that should get anyone excited. Our next font holds a really cool sci-fi feeling, yet it can be used for any cool, fun, futuristic branding project. That font is known as Mars Wars. From taking the kerning and decreasing the space for some really cool, fun text logos, or using separate letters for logos themselves, this font is honestly just a really good pickup with its cool box style that can honestly fit itself anywhere at any time where it sees it fit. That makes sense, right? Does that make sense? All I'm going to say is that was a sentence, and this is a font, and I think you should download it. Now, last up, we have New Montreal version 2. It is a free for personal use font inspired by the beautiful design city of Montreal. I'm not from there, by the way. I, I just said it in the, in the description. However, with its really cool contemporary approach, the sans serif font just is like a no-brainer to have. Yeah, honestly, if you just need like a really good font, this is definitely one of them for sure. It even comes with like six different styles for free, so it definitely has you guys covered in multiple weights. It's honestly a pretty big W because it's kind of rare nowadays. So if you guys are in the market for some really cool, clean sans serif fonts, as you guys most likely are, and this is definitely one of them. And with that, guys, that is the end of the video here today. So hope you guys found some really cool fonts that you guys really end up enjoying and downloading and using for the next year at least. But there's going to be more font videos, of course, in the future. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and come back because there's a lot more stuff coming through. So with that being said, I'll see you guys later. So HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. It doesn't change this year. It just becomes like we just, we're going to turn the notch now. We're just going to we're just gonna do way, way more and just like just do a lot more. Yep. I think that works. All right. I'll see you guys later. Peace.